I do not pre-fill my oil filters whenever I change my oil. And probably doesn't matter if you do or not. All right, here's the oil filter for my 2.7 liter Silverado. It's a PF66. It's a standard AC Delco kind of job. You open it up. It's got all this capacity inside of it. A lot of people like to pre-fill these or pre-charge these or pre-prime these with oil uh, before they put them on their trucks. I never have, uh, probably never will pre-prime with oil. Um, I don't know exactly where that came from. I think it comes from like a, a mindset of putting oil in there is going to save the engine wear and tear whenever you first fill it up. There might be a little bit of truth to that. It takes about two seconds, maybe three seconds to fill this thing completely full of oil and get the oil pressure up uh, to, to the normal PSI. Um, whenever you change the oil and you, you go ahead and put this filter on there. Does that matter? Uh, in my experience, it hasn't been. If you take your car to a quick lube or you get it changed at the dealership, they're not pre-filling the oil filter. Uh, there's a lot of oil filters that just simply cannot be pre-filled anyway. Uh, a lot of these canister type oil filters like this are on the engines sideways. How do you pre-fill an oil filter that's on sideways? Uh, also, a lot of newer cars are going to what's called a canister filter and some of them are even upside down. So you have to remove the whole can uh, canister, undo the lid and pull out the cartridge media filter thingy. And uh, that just doesn't work with pre-filling. It's impossible to pre-fill a filter like that. Uh, so I just I just don't do it. Now, there can be some dangers uh, to pre-filling an oil filter that you might not have ever thought about. So just want to mention that. I Whenever I was researching this video just a little bit, I found out that Caterpillar uh, actually does not recommend to pre-fill an oil filter at all on their engines, the Caterpillar engines. And kind of the idea behind that, uh, from what I, from what I've been able to gather, and you guys, please help me in the comments if you've got any any uh, experience with this. But the idea about it was to go ahead and just take the filter out of the box. It's a clean filter. It's protected. There's nothing inside of the filter, and just put it on the engine just right then, and go ahead and fill it up. But if you take time out in the field, like you're having to change the oil out in the field uh, and there's mud, there's dirt, there's rocks, there's grit all over the place, then you're, you're having to hold that filter up and pour oil into it and that sort of thing, um, there's a danger of actually getting stuff inside of it. So from what I understand, that's why Cat doesn't recommend one uh, specifically. Now, of course, the engine in the Silverado is not a Caterpillar. Uh, but the same kind of rule, it's really like the only one that I could find out there uh, that had any credibility as far as a recommendation goes. Uh, so, are you, do you pre-fill your filter? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I promise you, if you're getting your oil changed somewhere else, it's 100% not getting pre-filled. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.